afternoon, YouTube. How we doing today? Captain Kobe coming back at you. We have a, uh, a special treat for you today. We kind of ventured out from the fire station a little bit. We walked across the, across the street at a place called JC Bakes. She makes fantastic sweets, breads, uh, a variety of bread puddings, all kinds of crazy stuff that we absolutely love over here. And we decided to share that with you. So today we are going to make a home-style butter bread. A home-style butter bread. It's just a basic white bread that you would buy at a store. You can you can eat it fresh out of the oven. You can make um, sandwiches with it, grilled French cheese, toast with French it, grilled toast. cheese. That's right. Mm -hmm. So before we get started, let me introduce uh, these fine young ladies who's going to be helping us today. This is Miss J.C. Seymour. She's the owner and the master baker chef. That's with us today. And this is Miss Sunny. Hi. Sunny Tap, right? Yes. All right, Miss Sunny Tap. And we all know Captain Colby, right? <laughs> anyway, um, Miss JC was on Cupcake Wars. Cupcake Wars, that's right, on the Food Network, right? Yep, back in the day. That's right. Mm -hmm. So it's a special treat for all you guys today. Uh, not to only have just a master chef, but one who's been on TV too. It's kind of famous, right? <laughs> and every once in a while, just gonna throw this out there, we do rock out some pas too. All right, oh, that's yeah. right, that's right. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, we love them. Well, listen, mm -hmm. I really don't know how to make bread today. That's why I'm here. If I knew how to make bread, I would be showing y'all that mm -hmm. at the fire station, but I don't. So I called on the experts. So she will be instructing, I will be working, and uh, Miss Sunny be helping me too. All right? So stay tuned when we get started in just a sec. All right, as you can see, we have our ingredients uh, all set off for us right here. And uh, I'm ready to get started. You ready to get started? Oh, it doesn't really look like you're ready to get started. Okay. Uh, something about baking, it's super, super messy, especially bread making, and I don't see your apron. Oh, I don't have my Captain Kobe apron. apron, so. Oh, uh, no. It's don't okay. worry. <laughs> we have plenty. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. She missed introductions, but this is my mom. Miss Jackie, as everybody calls her, she's uh, our operations manager. In other words, the only person that can tell me what to do. <laughs> right. well, I don't even know if my big head will fit her on this thing. Oh, right. it's okay, got my pink polka dot apron on. Hope I still look good. Got my gloves. I'm ready. I'm I ready think you're ready to roll. Right. Here I'm we go. Okay. Well, right. the, the first thing that we're going to start with is um, kind of some cheese. warm water. Okay. You're going to notice that we do have two separate cups for the warm water. There's two different reasons for that. The first is we're overachievers here. We memorize how to make double the recipe <laughs> yeah. instead of just the original recipe. Mm -hmm. um, and the second reason for that is while well, yeast does like to rise, it is very unpredictable. And if you don't watch it, it'll, it'll be everywhere. Um, we so we have to keep it separate. <laughs> yes. We're done cleaning that up. All right. right. So All right, what I sugar. need. First things first. Sugar. Right, mm -hmm. where I put this in this bowl, or you're gonna do a scoop on? in each of your warm water cups. Okay, yeah. one whole scoop. Yep, one so whole far. scoop. Right in. How much is this so I can tell them on this? Uh, uh, that is one quarter, 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 cup. Cup. quarter cup. One quarter cup of sugar. Yep, mm -hmm. beautiful. Thank you. At any time. <laughs> All right. And then this is the most important tool for bread making. Okay. I just want you to know. Like this? <laughs> yes. yes. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Got my sugar and my water mixed up. All right. Now we've got that mix. You're going to add your yeast. So you will do two tablespoons in each cup. It's already, it's got a pour spout. Oh. You're good to go. Mm -hmm. It's fancy. It's fancy. In here. So this is what? This is one? Mm -hmm. Yep. You'll do yep. two. Two in each in cup. Each of them. All right, yeah, that's good. So you can set those. The world champion stir right here. <laughs> <laughs> Best I've seen, right. hands down. Mm -hmm. All right. All it's right. still clumping at the bottom. That's okay. It doesn't, yeah, doesn't it'll have to be like you don't have to be like the sugar can it's clump not up a little be bit. Perfect. Yeah, I know. Um, and that's okay. You okay. just want to, you know, make sure it's broke up. Can have a little clump at the bottom. Yeah. That's what I have in this one right here on the left. If you need it, it's just. part of the beauty of adding the word homemade to anything. <laughs> you know? All right, we have. Sweet uh, tooth. Two thirds cup of oil. Mm -hmm. In the bowl. I'm gonna put that right here in the bowl. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then okay. I'm assuming these eggs next, right? Yep, yes, those sir. eggs. Okay. We'll get that set out of the way. I'm a messy cook, so. That's fine. That's too, you should have seen this place before you showed up. We've been baking and I would have never moving known. all day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like it was like cloud flour and sugar, sugar everywhere. <laughs> 
Okay, okay we mixing okay. this again? No. Mm -hmm. No, you don't okay. need this again. You good. Okay. All right. <laughs> so now we've moved on to flour. Um, our flour is pre-sifted. However, we do like to make sure that it's extra fine. So it's all the way sifted. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're doing Correct. a full cup of this? Um, you're actually going to do seven. seven. Oh, it's just seven? Yes. And you're going to do two at a time? Yeah, you can put in two here? in here mm -hmm. at a time. Yep. Okay. Yep. Just helps it go a little bit faster. Gotcha. Yeah, because that yeast, whew, it moves like, quick. It's kind of like racing against a little clock. Yeah. I'll, I'll see yeah, that. if you like competition, yeah. bake some bread. I don't want to be too slow. Hey, I'll tell you what, get a shot of that, uh, that yeast Strong. making some stuff in there. Good. Good sifter too. Good stir and a good sifter. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. All right. So next so, you're gonna do three what are these teaspoons? Three mm -hmm. teaspoons of salt into the flour mix. All right. Perfect. All right. Good so deal. that's pretty much it. Um, now we just have to wait for our yeast to rise a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, can take anywhere from five to eight minutes for it to rise, but okay. basically once it hits the top of the ridge, you're ready. All right, um, that's, that's a good, that's a good, uh, mm -hmm. a good thing to know. That way, yeah. I mean, you don't have to try to time it. Or exactly, because it. temperature will definitely affect how quick or how slow the yeast will rise. So mm -hmm. the hotter the better, or the colder the better. How Usually, the it? hotter the quicker, the colder the longer. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we just yeah. playing the waiting game. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we'll see y'all when this yeast is up to the top. <laughs> we'll be back with you. This is it. All right, we have our our uh, flour and oil and egg right here at this mixer, mm -hmm. and as you can see, our yeast is ready on one. Is this? Oh yeah, you're still good on it, even if it's not caught up with the other one. They've still been in there the same amount of time, so it's okay if one rises more than the other. So and we're good. That's close we're good. Enough. Yeah, because this one's do. about to overflow. <laughs> now whatever you do. Don't mix it. It's yes. very tempting, but just don't. Don't stir it after you've It'll done. It'll destroy all of those oxygen bonds, and your yeast will fall. And so we want to keep it fluffy, nice and fluffy, yes. just like nice that. Nice and fluffy, <laughs> just like that. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's, 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 we just dump it in here? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yeah. So if I wanted to do this at the station and just mix it by my hand, with my hand, it would take about 30 minutes. Yeah, if you're handmade. That's, that's, that's a long time. It's a lot. We, uh, we are finished kneading this dough. I guess is what mm -hmm. you call that, kneading yes. the dough, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And uh, now that everything is off the side, and you can tell everything is off the side, that's uh -huh. pretty impressive to me. Yep. Just clean and, the hook off. Okay. Yep. Just wipe that off. Just like that. Yep. Okay. It should come off fairly easy. Yeah, it's not too bad. Mm -mm. All right. Okay. So next, I'll just take that. Thank you, ma'am. So next, you're going to spray a second bowl with oil. Um, just any, any like spray. Any kind of cooking spray. Yeah. You just don't want your bread to stick, and you want to give it enough moisture so it'll help it rise as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what else? So we now, do? what you're going to do is take it from this bowl, and you can just kind of dump it and help it. Um, in there. Yes, and you'll want to kind of form a, a ball with it. Like before I put it in there? Yeah, just yep. a little, just kind of, you know. Perfect, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Bread Beautiful. Maker. <laughs> the butcher, the baker, the breadstick maker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, good like this? Yep, yep. Pop and it on down. Just, yep, there you go. Look at that, look at that beautiful bread. Beautiful. And All then right. you'll just give it another little spray over the top. Okay. There you go. Now I know when you have yeast and bread, you have to let it you have to let it set a little bit, right? Correct. Yes. How long um, are we letting this one set for? It rises for fifteen minutes, and first oh, you're gonna good. put some saran wrap over it. It's gonna that help helps, it. That helps. That uh, helps with the process. Yep. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Look at this fancy. <laughs> we we get the cheap one at the farm station. There you go. <laughs> okay. And you'll just cover mm -hmm. your bread. 
Perfect. Mm -hmm. yep. Good deal. Okay. And you'll just let that set and let it rise for 15 minutes. All right. It's been about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, look at our bread. Look at that. Oh, yes. Isn't that awesome? Good. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's next? What will okay. we do next? So now this is my single favorite part of the bread making experience. Okay. Go ahead and punch that real quick. Just punch it. Just punch, punch it. it. Like, one good time. There you go. <laughs> yep. Just one time? Just, Why just, just one, one good time. time? Just like that. Okay. Um, there's a bunch of air that traps inside. As it rises, it tends to collect a lot. So um, when you do that, it's just going to release that out okay. and bring you back. I know it seems kind of crazy. You rise and then you unrise it. But it's fun. Science. Okay. <laughs> science, man. That's right. why I'm so not having it. You're going to sprinkle some flour down on your table so the bread doesn't stick. Okay. Um, that should be good. And yeah, That's just, enough? Yeah, just... And not, not a full scoop. No, you're good. No, no, yeah. There you go. How's that? Beautiful. Perfect. My good sprinkle of wood. Uh-huh. The best. Yes. <laughs> All right. And then you just take that out of the bowl. Yep. All right. Okay. Now you get to me. Your hand work. Oh, my life. This is a Chris job. Where, where is Chris? Chris should be doing this. Where is Firefighter Ben Wall when you need it? This would be Chris's bread. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one now. <laughs> okay, we're not All right, so let's spray like your pans. The there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Spray your pans. Um, you can use any cooking spray, but basically just so they don't stick and they're easier to take out once they're done in the oven. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, what I do with this bread? I put that All in. All right, there. you're going to shove that in the bottom of those little pans. You, you can cut it. As I was saying, make it about the size so it'll fit mm -hmm. better. Okay. Now keep in mind, the yeast is going to be active the entire time you're working with the bread. Yeah. So every time you let it rise, rise, it's going to be rising rise again. and growing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need my stir. I got you right here. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Pro tip, um, speaking from experience here, I left out the water one time and I had scrambled eggs in the corners of <laughs> yeah. my bread loaf. Okay, we so don't want that. Definitely, yeah, definitely that. do not forget. To add the water. To, to add, add the water. water. <laughs> tip of the day, don't forget to add the water when you make the egg wash or you're going to have scrambled eggs. Why does the egg ain't busting? This is the toughest egg in the world. You right? got to manhandle it. Yeah, and just kind of... There you go. Get it, get it. All right, okay. You, don't be Just afraid. a few minutes ago, you were the best stirrer in the world. Well, I, I, <laughs> Girl, it happened. Come <laughs> now and then. I lost my time. <laughs> Yes, almost at 325 minutes. 350. So 350 in the oven for 30, 38 about 38 minutes. minutes. Got it? Yep. They're just, they different. <laughs> you it doesn't matter. However you want to put them in there. It's okay. fine. All right. All right. And now we just play the waiting game, right? Yeah. Yep. Now we set our toppers and we're good to go. All right. Chris, what are you doing, Chris? You don't have to watch this. You don't have to wash dishes over here today, but I'm gonna let you decorate some cake. Cake decorating. I gotta help a little bit, guys. All right, you can wash dishes, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna help decorate. Yeah, you good? Okay. As long as I get some sweets, I'm alright. Oh yeah, you good? <laughs> all right. While we're waiting for our bread to make, Miss JC has uh, lined up a few cakes that uh, we can decorate. 
And since Firefighter Benoit has a couple of young kids at home, we decided that we're gonna let Firefighter Benoit, instead of wash dishes today, we're gonna let him decorate cakes. Right? Mm -hmm. Chris, you about that? You good with decorate cakes today? I'm good with that. Okay, but you gotta wear an apron. If I, if I gotta wear a pink polka dot apron there. Okay. We, we got you a fancy one there, bro. All right. Let me put this on here for you, bro. Hey, that's that. French that made one, here. my boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Here we go. I'll help you out. You look awesome, Chris. That is sharp. Hey, well, hey, man. Like you said, you gotta be in touch All right, well, listen. Miss mm -hmm. Jay's gonna mm -hmm. help you with that, show you how to do that. I'll let you take over. Okay. So I wanted to gift you guys some kind of dessert, you know. All right. But in the midst of our regular, regular day today, I didn't really have time. But that's okay. Okay. Because now you get to do it. All right. Okay. always looking for cake decorators. Higher. I don't know how many Higher. you would sell <laughs> of these cakes right here. To be Are honest. you kidding? This would be a, a number one seller. Yes. Number one seller. You heard it right here. We have Captain mm -hmm. Colby. Number one seller. Captain Colby special. Just add a unicorn to the middle. Right. Red is ready. Let's take it out of the oven. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. Look how beautiful. There's that nice. Look, look at that Captain Colby bread right there. What you know about that, huh? Beautiful. <laughs> Right. Oh, look, Chris's loaf even looks good. Oh, that's, that's, look, that's the best one. That's the best looking one. You're not lying, though. You're not lying. Okay. Okay. Are we putting these in? We just set them over here on the table. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yep. So we'll just let these cool for a little bit. And we're going to butter and them up. And then we can butter them up. Try this. I'm gonna love this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Rocco. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, come on, give me a little piece. Mm -hmm. You know what it tastes like to me? The bread you eat at school. Yes. Mm-hmm. School bread. Like, oh. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. This is so good. That's what we have been told. And I'm okay with that. That was oh, one of oh, yeah. the best part of school. Mm -hmm. a piece of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would like to showcase everything that uh, Miss JC and, and her wonderful staff bakes right here. So this is a, a plethora of uh, just a few things. Yeah, that, that yeah. we make over here. So I, I'll let you kind of talk about that. Listen to me. The best looking thing over here is Chris's Princess cake he made right here. I love yes, it. Yes, it's beautiful. Uh, but Miss JC gonna let you know everything that she has right here, what she has to sell, and uh, come get it. It's fantastic. It's awesome. I tasted just about everything over here. 
might, I might have gained 40 pounds just to dig. <laughs> yes. All right, take it away, man. All right. So um, every week we have a different menu. Um, this week our cupcake flavors are Boston cream pie, red velvet, hot fudge sundae, wedding cake, strawberry cheesecake, and groom's cake. Um, we like to do a little bit of classic mixed with a little bit of uh, retro and like our new spin on things too. Um, so the menu is always super varied. A little bit of something for everybody. Um, we also have caramel Cadbury egg brownies, amaretto cheesecake with a caramel glaze on it that is to die for. Um, and we also have these really cool family movie night platters available right now um, in three different sizes depending on the size of your family. They come with everything pictured here, including some popcorn um, that you make at home. Tastes exactly like what you get at the theater because we're all missing that experience. I know Absolutely. I am. And then you also, you also get to pick some soda. We just got our brand new Coca-Cola fridge in, um, and we're doing, obviously, glass bottles. The retro, like uh, the retro stuff. Mm -hmm. That's our thing. Um, and then, of course, we do also have some sh butter sugar cookies, which are the bomb.com, they melt in your mouth, and then some little minis. Um, and everything's themed for Cat in the Hat. That's the movie of the week. And bread. Yes. And bread. And some Captain bread. Cola bread. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like right. it. Yes. yes. And you can also get your bread turned into pizza bread, garlic bread, or garlic cheese bread. We highly suggest doing that. It's super good, super delicious. Mm -hmm. Add jalapenos. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm speaking that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd like to thank y'all, wonderful ladies, for having us here today, yeah. letting us decorate cakes and, uh, and, and and doing our show here. We had I had a great time. You had a good time. Us too. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. We had a great time. So listen, if you're hungry for some sweets, she's open. It's curbside service, but she is open. Mm -hmm. So uh, please come, buy some cookies, buy some cupcakes, make some bread, and uh, we'll see y'all in the kitchen. See y'all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.